it's dead of summer and I'm crazy enough to try to come out and camp right by a lake. I've picked a spot, I've got my hammock for as cool as sleeping as I can get and I've got my tarp strung up because there have been some thunderstorms this afternoon and it's possible that we could get a little shower or two either later this evening or some tonight. You know, it's the middle of summer in North Carolina. Um, the heat is through the roof. Um, with the heat index, it's been above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So just to let you know, I think in the dead of summer like it is now, you've got to change your mindset about camping. Um, a typical camp day for me in the fall or early spring or the winter time would be that I get up, I uh, you know, leave my house at like 10 o'clock, I swing in through Bojangles or some kind of fast food place and eat like a early big lunch, eat a snack around one or two o'clock and then cook like a big meaty like steak or something for dinner. And uh, trust me, I have learned from so many failures and aggravations of trying to do that in the summer. It is not worth it. Um, just cooking over high heat, when you don't want it and by the time you're done sweating it out trying to cook some monster steak and mashed potatoes you don't even feel like eating it anymore and really you just want to go home and I've done that quite a few times um, so I just chilled out at my house today I packed up really slowly um, you know I, I swung in through a fast food place and grabbed a little bite for dinner right as I was coming in I hit the water at like six um, paddled around and here I am you know a couple hours later it's hot it's humid um, but I'm comfortable at the moment I brought my fishing rods and I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit out here and catfish um, and just chill out I brought a cooler uh, that has you know some Gatorade and some um, little snack foods and things um, and so this is gonna be you know um, a, a low impact low intensity um, camping trip which in my opinion is perfect for the summer it's about 8 30 I've got two lines in the water cat fishing and I've got little bells attached to the end to kind of help alert me when I get a bite so far so good on the bugs a couple of little ones around me but nothing biting yet Wish me luck. That one's a keeper. I think I've got two fish on it once. Oh Lord. Let's see if I can get this in. <laughs> yeah, there's a fish on this one. I'm not fighting hard, but. Sometimes those big catfish don't fight hard, they're just logs to pull in. Hopefully I won't need the net or anything because I don't even know if I could reach it. Okay, let's get him in. What am I what do I got? That's another catfish. Not a very big one, I'll probably let him go. Let me get this guy in. Wow. I don't think I've ever caught two at once before at the same time. Now this one's putting up a good bit of fight. If you can hear the bell going off, and then you have time to take it off the, the line. Oh, he popped off. He popped off. Still got my bait, though. Oh, that's too bad. He popped off right there at the shore. 
That's not a bad catfish. Just a little small, especially when you're filleting. There's not a lot of meat that'll come off of that, so I'm gonna send him back. So for this trip, I brought a nice, big, juicy chicken Caesar salad. Oh yeah, that's right, you heard me. I can literally sense the thumbs down buttons being hit right now. But you know what, I don't care. It's like 85 degrees out here and the last thing that I want to eat right now is like a hot meal. It doesn't matter if it was a steak or chili or spaghetti or anything. I want something cold. Chicken Caesar salad for the win. Well guys, it's about 20 minutes to midnight and I think I'm getting ready to hit the hammock. Uh, fishing kind of went dead here the last really hour, hour and a half to two hours. Um, there weren't any bites or anything on the lines. But, you know, it's been really quiet out here, except for all the, you know, little critters in the woods. Um, some distant, you may be able to hear it, some distant highway noise. But other than that, really quiet. The moon's out nice and bright. And uh, it's been a really nice night. So um, I'm going to kind of put some clean clothes on, hop in the hammock, and try to get some shut-eye. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good night. Got a boil. Let's make some pancakes this morning. planning to stay a little bit to fish some more but it's it's getting so hot and the sun is coming right here in on me but you know I think I've done what I really wanted to do with this trip so 
Uh, I'm getting ready to paddle out, and I'll take you along with me just for a few more moments of that paddle. Well gang, that's going to do it for this video. I uh, really appreciate you joining me. I uh, don't do a lot of summer camping because it's just not easy here in North Carolina. And I know there's a lot of places around the southeast that are the same way where it's just too hot. But I wanted to show that camping can be done in the summer. It just has to be done the right way. I have learned my lesson so many times of, of failing over and over of trying to make what I do in like a fall, spring, or even winter camp happen in a summer camp and it's always miserable. It never works out and nine times out of ten I end up bailing on the, the trip because I'm just, I'm just, like I said, I'm just miserable. So it can be done um, and it can be enjoyable but you have to do it the right way and you've got to get your mind right. Well, I hope this encourages you to get out no matter what the temperature may be. Thanks so much for being with me. We'll see you on the next trip.